Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam shows you how to run and set up a live Linux CD. Take Linux for a test drive without installing it to your hard drive. Can Linux really do this? This is a fantastic way to try out a Linux distribution before installing it to your hard drive. So obviously you are going to need um, a blank CD. You are also going to need access to a CD burner and you're also going to need access to a CD-ROM. So the basic concept is pretty simple. What we're going to be doing is we are actually going to be reading the entire operating system off of a CD. So this means it will not make any changes to your hard drive uh, unless you specifically mount your hard drive uh, after you are using the operating system. Now I will go into more details on that later so you can either A not do that or B if you do need to get access to your data you can do that as well. So this is uh, very easy to do and uh, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is pick a Linux distribution that enables or allows us to do a live CD mode. So you can pick uh, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, Ubuntu, um, I think OpenSUSE has a live uh, mode. You can pick Canopsix. But for this actual video, I'm going to go with the standard Ubuntu, uh, which I think is, at the time of this recording, 11.10. All right, uh, I'm assuming most everyone is running Windows, so unfortunately I had to boot to the dark side, uh, Windows. So all you're going to do is start up your web browser, type in ubuntu.com. We're going to go to the website. And of course, uh, this website is subject to change as far as navigation. Uh, the, at the time of the recording, all you're going to do is click the download tab here. And then you are going to click the download and install. And it brings you to this page here. So quick note of which one to pick. LTS stands for long-term support. Uh, then this is the latest version. It's generally understood that uh, long-term support tends to be a little bit more stable. And at the time of this recording, 12.04 is not released yet, but uh, if you happen to see this video when it is released, you may want to snag that up because 12.04 is a LTS. So for right now, uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to pick the 11.10. You're going to pick 32-bit or 64-bit. Um, if you're just doing just a live CD, 32-bit should be fine. If you want all of your memory used, uh, go for the 64-bit. 32-bit can only read up to, I believe, 4 gigs of memory. 64-bit can read a lot more. So this example, I'm just going to pick 32-bit and click the Start Download and uh, save it to a file and just wait for it to download. All right, so once that is done downloading, all you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the folder uh, in which you save the ISO image to your hard drive. Uh, this works for Windows 7. I believe it works for Vista. XP might need a third party uh, program to do this. You can just right click, say burn disk image, and it'll automatically burn the disk. If you want, you can check verify disk after burning. May not be a bad idea. And then uh, just click burn. And once it's done, your CD-ROM will probably eject from your computer. All right, I'll apologize in advance for the not-so-good image quality here, but uh, this is the only way I can show you guys this. So we're just going to have to deal with it for now. So what you need to do is we need to go into the uh, BIOS. Um, and what we need to do is we need to tell the computer to boot from the CD-ROM. Unfortunately, every computer is different, so I'm not sure what you're going to hit for your particular computer, but usually it's some kind of like uh, F1, F2, F12, something like that. So once you get into the BIOS, and every BIOS looks slightly different, but you're going to look for something called the boot tab. And what you want to do is you just want to make sure that the, uh, the CD-ROM is above the hard drive and you can see here the hard drive is fourth on my list so once that's set up you can hit escape and then uh, next time we boot we should boot right into uh, the Ubuntu operating system from the CD-ROM so after you've adjusted the boot order to make sure that your CD-ROM boots well before your hard drive um, with any luck once you restart your computer you should start seeing stuff loading up into the Ubuntu operating system now keep in mind this is only as fast as your CD-ROM read speed so uh, this is a pretty big distribution so this is going to take some time so you need to be patient alright and then about five maybe ten minutes later I told you it was slow 
Uh, you should come up to the screen. Um, I'm not sure if this screen will come up in 12.04, but uh, basically you could install Ubuntu, which you don't want to do if you do not want to overwrite any data to your hard drive, or you just click Try Ubuntu, and this just lets you do everything right off of the CD. And finally, once everything gets loaded up, uh, you should be into the Ubuntu operating system. Now, I'll just show you how to quickly navigate a little bit, because uh, this may look a little bit unfamiliar to you. So up here is, I think this is the Unity bar or something, I can't remember, but uh, this little icon right here, this is for your connections, whether they be wired or wireless. Uh, if your wireless card uh, is able to be used right out of the gate, then you should see all of the connections that you could connect to. Uh, mine can be after I install the Wi-Fi driver um, or activate it, which I'm not going to do for this demonstration. But uh, over here you have the Unity bar, I think. Uh, you're going to have to read up on this. I can't remember what, it, what they call all this stuff. But um, this is your home folder. Um, so you can click that. Um, this is your web browser. Uh, this is LibreOffice. So this is just kind of, it's very similar to Microsoft Office, except on the Linux side of things, the Ubuntu Software Center. Um, if you want to look at other applications, you have to hit the Windows key, and then this thing, this little lens or whatever they call it, comes up. And then you can look at different apps um, through here. Uh, you can type in different apps, you can look at internet apps, you can look at more apps. Um, it basically just filters different results. Uh, you can see all installed apps. You can see we have 87 apps installed. And uh, so if you wanted to, for example, like check out what was on your hard drive, everything over here is your hard drive. So when I click on it, I actually mount it. So remember, I'm not... I said I wasn't going to touch my hard drive, which is true, until I actually mount. So now I have a little eject button. So right now I can actually, if I wanted to, I could look into my Windows hard drive, which uh, is right here. Um, I could look at um, all of my stuff. Oops, it's actually under Users. Uh, look under Users. That's me right there. We can look under my documents. So this is where I could actually uh, use some of my uh, stuff on the actual hard drive. So in order to, you can just click on eject and this will unmount it and we're all set. Um, the other thing to note, uh, you don't have like, uh, most of the time you have like edit, menu and all that stuff. Um, that is actually all replaced up here. This is just an Ubuntu feature. So um, what you have to do is uh, let me bring up LibreOffice too. This may take a second to load. Okay, so once this is loaded, you can see I actually have my file, my edit and stuff right on the application itself. Um, but I won't for the file browser. I'll actually have to go up here to do it. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, LibreOffice is one of the few ones that actually has that. Like if I open up just a quick terminal, um, it'll be the same thing as my file browser. See, I have no file edit or anything like that, but if I go up to here, then I have all of my stuff for the uh, terminal. And if I click over here, then I have that for the uh, file browsing. So at this point in time, you're done fooling around with Linux. You want to get back into Windows. You can just click this icon on the right-hand side go to shut down. Are you sure you want to shut down? Yes, of course I do. And then now you will go into the shutdown process and uh, eventually it'll ask you if you want to remove your CD. So you just remove your CD, press enter, and then the next time you start up you'll be right back into the Windows operating system. And as you can see by the logo, this booted into Windows um, with no issues whatsoever. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Make sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com. Thanks for watching.